Well, hello, my favorite people. Listen, Kim and George have been preaching on the theme, the season of creation. So I thought, seeing that it's all about creation, let me see what I can create. So I've got a glass and I'm going to add some liquid. So let's put in some liquid first. Nah. Maybe a little more, because what I want to see is I'm going to try to make Coca-Cola. <laughs> but because I only have one container, I'm going to try and make three different cool drinks. Sprite, then Fanta, and if I'm lucky, I'm going to make Coke. So let's see if this works. So there's the Sprite Fanta. And maybe Coke. <laughs> Not yet. Coke! <laughs> okay, right. Okay, you caught me. It's not really Coke. It's just a little bit of chemicals, and there's a chemical reaction happening. But what's important is that what was is no more. So the chemicals got transformed. And this reminds me of a scripture in the Bible. I think it's in the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 2, that says, Do not conform to this world, but rather be transformed and you are transformed because you renew your mind and when we renew our mind it means that we see differently but we also think differently and I think often when we look at challenges that we face in life and we think of that as a function of our skills we sometimes find that if there aren't any challenges but if I also don't think that I can do things then it feels as if I don't fit. And I think that's often what happens to people in church. They don't see the value and they don't believe that they can contribute. And then they think that maybe this is not the best place for them. But I can also imagine that if you only see the challenge and you do not appreciate what you bring to the table, you can become stressed. It just becomes too much. And then you could also run away. But there also might be some people who've got all the skills and all the abilities, but they are blinded and they don't see the obvious challenges. It's kind of like some of the people at work that sometimes sit in a meeting and in the meeting they say nothing. And then after the meeting, they have their own meeting where in their meeting they explain to everybody how it's supposed to work. So they've got all the skills, but they don't see the opportunities to make contributions. It reminds me of that old chorus that says, Who shall I send? And then it says, Here am I, send me. So I think that we can really be in flow when our challenges are met by our skills. When we start seeing the opportunities to make contributions and when we believe that we are in the best position to make those contributions. It reminds me of the story in the book of Esther, where Mordecai says to Esther, My dearest Esther, as you face this challenge, think about this. Maybe you were born for a time like this. So this is my challenge to you. As you go through the week, and as you are confronted by challenges, whether it's stuff going wrong in the environment, whether it's stuff going wrong in your household, stuff going wrong at school, maybe there's a need for you to appreciate what it is that you bring to the table. And yes, as you connect with your skill set, maybe you can, like Esther, believe that you were born for a time like this. So as we celebrate creation and as we own and take ownership of the right to add value and to look after the creation, maybe this is our time. Change will not come if we wait for other people. We are the change that we have been waiting for. Until we see each other again, always remember, have 